Gator, we finally get to see our first shot of a Lannister in this last episode of the House of the Dragon. What what, what are your thoughts on seeing this? Uh, we see two Lannisters, but uh, this is Jason Lannister yeah, with his uh, massive, massive non overcompensating. Uh, <laughs> spear he has here yeah well first of all i hate the little frillies that it has on it what the hell is that you know nasty that's gonna get in battle it's gonna get blood soaked all those things are gonna be sticky next to it like all you know what I i'm saying yeah i think it's i think it's a screw top at the top of the spear and he can use as a mop in case it gets uh, oh that's utilitarian as fuck i actually love that yeah there you go okay cool so, no i'm back in i love this guy now but i was gonna say <laughs> i don't like i think he looks sloppy this is not like the the vibe that i get from lannisters you know what i'm saying yeah, like it's, well, it's I think the long his, hair, maybe the degenerate wise, it's a little bit too high. I think his brother looks a little better. He has a shorter hair. He's well, they're more twins, kept. right? I think they, fuck. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, definitely because they're Lannisters, right? Yeah, and they're twins, right? And I mean, I think, uh, I think we can say that uh, all three of the Lannisters, uh, Tyrion, Cersei, Jaime, probably had multiple three ways. I would say so. What about okay, so Jason and his brother, though, do you think that uh, they have any love children together, like incest babies, <laughs> like the you know. Jamie and Cersei did. I think it goes without saying that uh, the the crab feeder is their love baby. <laughs> the crab feeder, well, that makes sense. A little deformed. Which one of these do you think Jason or his brother? Sorry okay. to bombard you with questions. Yeah, which Which one of these two do you think has the bussy then? Well, it's definitely uh, Jason here because he's sick and tired of being like shitting out these kids. Right. He's the like, overcompensation. Please, I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to be with these. Uh, I don't want to be with my brother anymore. Also, like he has no game too. Clearly, this man is like mentally ill or something because he basically just goes up to. Uh, Rhaenyra is like, hey, uh, he's like, well, you know, if you come over to Castle Rock, you know, we could build a like, I I don't know, garage for your dragons. If we become married, it's like, (laughs) dude, chill out. Who are you? (laughs) Who is this? I was going to say, Uncle Leo. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, "Yeah, dude, he was way too forward. I can't believe that. I don't blame her actually whatsoever for for leaving. And actually, she was super polite to him when she left. I, I, I don't know if it was just because of how much I hate Daenerys by the end of Game of Thrones. It probably is. I actually like Rhaenyra a lot, and it's directly probably compared to Daenerys. Like, she's just so tolerable, in my opinion, and everything she does is pretty reasonable. I'd be pissed off, too, if I had her uh, position and everything around me was happening the way it was to her. Yeah, and, and like the point of view she has thus far and uh, the interactions she's having, it makes sense yeah. why she thinks this way. Do I totally think she's acting in the right way? No, but uh, yeah, the, dude, she shouldn't marry this Lannister guy. He's fucking weird. Also, like, do, what, what do you think you put in that cup? Yeah, there's definitely something in it. She looked down. Do you think maybe it was like not anything? Uh, well, first off, do you think there's something malicious in it? Or do you think it's like, dude, this guy's so unkept that some of his hair just got it. It's a big clump of his hair. And she's like, holy shit. I think maybe it's a loogie or something like that because he thought she'd be into it. Yeah, she, he thought like, she'd what be is this, into it. What is this, Dune? I'm going to spit on you to give, <laughs> show, show you my appreciation. Maybe, but it's like a fancier version because you know Lannisters, right? Yeah, that's true. Oh, I've been trying to convince my wife that uh, the spit is like really cool now, and like we're mm-hmm. trying to get her into like doing stuff like that, so that way I can do way more. Sp- See, but I, I just want to spit on her. That's what I'm trying to do is just spit on her. And but I have is- to like somehow convince her so she's okay with it. <laughs> well, she is a Dune fan. See, because the spitting thing that you're talking about, though, that's spit. That's just like little, right? Just to kind of show, like, okay, it's liquid, uh-huh. it's water. You know, there's my respect. The Lannisters, no, this is a loogie. This is like phlegm from deep within the throat. Because I think that's to him. That says like this is from deep within me. It's it's meaningful. It's like a, my body is becoming one with your body, and soon our souls will become merged in holy matrimony under the seven, you know, gods, the old gods, and the new, the Lord of Light, whatever. I think yeah, he, I right. think his game is actually hot. You think his game is hot? Yeah, I, I don't know hot. if it's hot, dude. Yeah, if somebody uh, presents me with a probably Valyrian steel tipped spear. Like, come on, I'm in. No, I think this man is definitely mentally ill, uh, based off what we just said earlier, was the amount of incest he's. Uh, um, Having with his other brother, potentially birthing the crab feeder. I don't care if the books say otherwise. My number one theory is that he's actually the father of the crab feeder or mother. Yeah, it's an adaptation. Okay, so. it's a different universe. Okay, things change. Right, different different universe. Yeah, definitely on screen there. It's twenty twenty two, guys. Get with yes, it. Yes, yes. Lannister can give birth to a crab feeder if he was impregnated by his Lannister twin brother. True. So, I, I mean, I hope we see other like noble houses in here. I don't want to see a ton of them. And I like this just like side little appearance of him. I don't know how much more he's going to be in it. Um, you know, I'm way more interested in the other like noble houses that have actually have standing in the court to get in there. I don't want to just be like, like kind of have they had in the end of episode one where they had a Stark. Stark. Yeah. Like, hey, remember this like, guy? Remember this guy? It's like, yeah. Uh, oh, way, yeah. Don't Stark remember. Retarded, by the way. Yeah, he looked like he had like a lip thing going on that uh, definitely needed to get checked out. He looked like a random henchman you'd see on the wall, 
you know, working and he's like the Lord of Winterfell. I don't even want to know what other people they got running around in there. That's nuts. Yeah. Dude, yeah, Winterfell has come a long ways since yes, uh, it really has. wherever this goes, <laughs> whatever shit. time this is. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, I will let us know what you think of this Lannister's appearance thus far in, uh, or you know, what we've seen of him. We've seen him and his brother. Which, what, what do you think about the names, real quick? Uh, Jason and uh, Tyland. I didn't. I didn't. We'll see later on. Right. Yeah, I didn't know Tyland was the other one's name. I must have missed that somehow. I, I like Tyland more than Jason. I guess like it's Jason's. Too, it's too yeah. modern. It's real. Well, what would you want to like if you had a maybe it's spelled a different way? It's like J A E S I N Jason. Yeah, well, listen, according to the subtitles, it's just J A S O N, but oh, <laughs> yeah. maybe, maybe you're right. Okay, I'm optimistic. You're well, right. If that's the case, that actually does make me feel a little better. It makes you feel better. Okay, yeah. what, what would be a better name for him? Quick, off the top of your head, go. Uh, J Bone, J Dog, <laughs> T Bone. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Okay, well, let's know what you think about J-Bone here and uh, smash that like button like you know this guy wants to smash or maybe like his brother's been smashing him all these years and how he just regrets every second of it. He wants out so bad. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this.